Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mr. Wild, the phys ed teacher here at Mayo Elementary School. This is my 12th year teaching phys ed here, and I absolutely love, love my job here. It's the best job in the world. I get to teach every single student in the whole school every single week for six years. I mean, it's amazing, okay? Now, what we'll do today is we'll kind of walk around. I'll show you some of the facilities. I'll show you kind of my rules and my standards and just some simple stuff that we'll be doing throughout the year. Here, okay, and again, my goal is to create a safe and healthy environment where kids can come in, have fun, get physical education in, get your heart rate up a little bit, and then in turn, I hope that it turns into a lifelong commitment to physical activity and health and wellness. And it all starts here. Thank you. All right, so hey, next we're going to go over our rules and standard. Each time your child comes in the gym, they can earn a total of five points, and most are behavior based and effort based, okay? So the first point you can earn right here is walking into the gym nice and quietly. We don't want the kids running in out of control or nothing like that. So they walk in nice and quiet and they also have to have proper gym shoes on as well. A good athletic sneaker, that's the only thing I ask them. You don't have to wear anything special or anything like that. Just a good athletic sneaker, no boots, no heels, nothing like that, okay? Now point number two, very simple is listening to directions. So when the teacher, myself, anybody else is talking, we're listening. We're not having a side conversation. We're not, you know, looking off, off on the ceiling or something like that. Eyes on the teacher and listening. Point number three is transitions. So this is big in elementary school. So like in between an activity is not a time to fool around. Let's say we're getting a drink. Also bring water bottles. That's another side note, okay? So if, say if we're getting a drink, that's it. We're getting a drink. We're not playing, you know, catch over on the side, we're not running around tagging each other, hugging each other, nothing like that. We're having a good smooth transition to the next activity. The next point would be right here, sportsmanship, okay? Now this is big in elementary school, okay? Kids have to learn how to lose, all right? Losing is a part of life. If you use it in a positive way, it can be a great tool to have. Okay. So again, we don't want to be bragging either if we win. We want to be able to play a game with good sportsmanship and all be happy and all have a good time. And then the last point right here, point number five, is simply lining up and heading back to class. That's it. All right, so this is our indoor space right here. This is the gymnasium. We're only using half of the gym as of right now. As you can see, we have some nice basketball hoops. The other half of the gym is really nice too, but it's being used as kind of like a little cafeteria type thing right here. Um, so yeah, we have a great gym here at Mayo. We have TRX straps up on the wall right there for suspension training. We use that a lot in grades three through five. We also have a nice rock wall right over here that kids can use throughout the year as well. It is a transverse rock wall, super safe. And yes, this is our indoor facility. So right here we have our outdoor fields. We have a great big soccer field here, flag football. Over there we have a baseball field. Ton of great space. We're gonna be outside quite a bit this fall, obviously, with uh, not having to wear masks or anything. And it's just great to get the kids outside. So yeah, this is our outdoor facilities right here. All right, so let's talk about curriculum elementary phys ed. We want to try to lay the foundation for their physical fitness and skill-based activities for the rest of their life, okay? So in K-2, to it's a lot of skill-based activities. So for example, we want to teach kids how to throw, how to kick, how to do, how to shoot, how to dribble, a lot of skill stuff. We're not going to get them into like a five-on-five -five basketball game or something like that, but we'll do a lot of games that involve skill work. Again, try to kick the ball. We're not going to do like a full-on soccer you know, 10 on 10, it just doesn't work that well in elementary school, especially K to two. But again, we're gonna incorporate a lot of new fitness stuff. We wanna get their heart rate up a lot during gym. We wanna teach them how to do a push up, how to do a squat, that type of thing. So we're laying really the foundation in the K to two level first. And again, spatial awareness is big, just how to move through a space, skipping, hopping, jumping, really basic things. But we wanna make those basic things fun. And then three to five, we're just kind of taking it up a notch. We're still emphasizing skill work, but again, we're gonna put it into more sports. So we'll sometimes play like a real game of soccer, a real game of basketball. We don't really do much stuff like kickball anymore because it's a lot of standing around. I only see the kids once a week. And I wanna really emphasize fitness and get a lot of you know running around, a lot of action instead of just kind of standing there for a little bit. Because again, I always see them once a week. I really wanna emphasize or optimize that time 
spent in gym and physical fitness again is the most important thing right now kids need to learn how to be fit they need to know how to do it throughout their life and they want to know hey it's fun it's enjoyable and there's a ton of mental benefits as well as physical benefits all right so again we're laying the foundation for phys ed in elementary it's mostly skill work fitness based stuff and mostly having fun Hey everybody, how we doing? Mr. Wild here. Hey, here at Mayo, we're all about precision physical education. Hey, check this deep throw out right here, all right? Check it. All right, here we go, guys. This is for you. Thanks, have a good day.